Top 5 Best Wide Angle Lens for Canon Number 5. Rockinon 14mm f2.8 ED The Rockinon 14mm f2.8 ED was considered cheap when it was around $400, and it's a good deal cheaper now. There's no denying you won't get pin-sharp images from this lens. But, perhaps for occasional use, for on-screen reproduction, it's worth it. If you have a number of properties to rent, this lens might be a good choice if you're advertising them on rental apps. It has a super wide focal length, fast f2.8 aperture, and manual focusing. This is less than a ringing endorsement, but for the price, it gives you access to a great focal length for interiors. Brand, Rockinon. Maximum aperture, f2.8. Focal range, 14mm, image stabilization, no. Best for, photographers needing an ultra-wide zoom on a tight budget. Coming in number 4. Sigma 14-24mm f2.8 DGHSM. The Sigma 14-24mm f2.8 covers a useful range of wide to ultra-wide focal lengths. It offers great value for money, for a lens with this range and a maximum f2.8 aperture. A combination of aspherical and special low disparison elements combines to give very low flare and little distortion. As with all Sigma art lenses, the build quality is designed to stand up to everyday use. Sigma art lenses have devoted followers who love the clarity and light their lenses deliver. I have a wedding photographer friend whose photos are nothing short of luminous. She shoots exclusively with Canon bodies and Sigma art lenses. The compromise with this lens is that its maximum zoom of 24mm won't get you at all close to the action. In some ways it is less versatile than the 16-35mm to 35 millimeters, but, it will give you that extra width at the wide end, without the financial pain of the Canon 11-24mm. to 24 millimeters. Coming in number 3. Canon EF 17-40mm f for LUSM. The Canon EF 17-40mm f for LUSM is another versatile wide-angle zoom lens. It gives you a good focal length range. You won't see much distortion, even at the extremes. And budget-conscious photographers will appreciate the price tag. You sacrifice 1mm of wide-angle, gain 5mm at the other end, and could nearly buy two of these for the price of the 16-35mm f for L. In other words, this is great value for a lens. It is pretty much as sharp as either of the 16 to 35 mm Canon lenses. And it pulls you that little closer to the subject with its maximum 40 mm, make no mistake, even though this lens is markedly cheaper than the previous two, it is still a hefty price. But it will deliver reliable results, whether it's for real estate interiors or landscapes. That cost saving does mean you have neither the fast f2.8 maximum aperture, nor the image stabilization. But there are some jobs where you need an ultra-wide lens on a full-frame camera. If that's your situation, this could be the one for you. Coming in number 2. Canon EF 16-35mm f2.8 L3 USM. The Canon EF 16-35mm f2.8 L3 USM is the latest lens in this series. You do need a bigger budget for this one. But you won't regret buying it once you see the quality. Image stabilization won't do you much good with a wide-angle lens if your subject is moving. So the f2.8 maximum aperture is important in this lens if you want to capture a moving object. Think of a goalmouth view of the whole soccer pitch. Or a worm's eye view of the steeplechase. This solid, super-sharp ultra-wide-angle zoom will excel in all of those circumstances. Exceptionally clear optics, even stopped wide open, will also work well for interiors and landscapes. But you can probably do as well with our top choice lens with its IS for that. It's an expensive lens. But it's superbly made and utterly reliable. It gives you sharp images across the focal length range and apertures. The Canon EF 16-35mm f2.8 L3 USM is a good investment. Coming in number 1. Canon EF 16 to 35 mm f for LUSM. Landscapes are expansive, interiors are roomy, and everything is pin sharp. That's the beauty of the Canon EF 16 to 36 mm f for L. Even better, it has image stabilization, which is less common on an ultra wide zoom. 
It makes low-light photography even easier and means you won't always need a tripod. A 35mm lens used to be the favorite alternative standard lens for photographers. It provides that little bit more width. For genuine wide angle, 24mm was a favorite. With this Canon EF 16 to 35mm f for l is USM lens, you get both those focal lengths and an ultra wide 16mm. If you've never used an ultra wide lens, you're in for a treat. I've written elsewhere that when my photographer daughter first used my 16 to 35mm, she hated it. Now I have to steal it back from her on multiple occasions. For comparison, a GoPro has a full-frame equivalent of about 16.5mm so that is the type of field of view you are getting.